Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be playing Hook on the Super Nintendo. Now, if you've seen the movie, you know the story. And believe it or not, this game actually follows the story quite well. It starts off by Peter telling the kids that there's no such thing as Peter Pan. It's all just a story. When are you ever going to grow up? And you see Hook kidnap the kids. Already you can tell this game has great graphics, which is definitely the best part in this game. The gameplay is even better than you think. Unlike the story, you end up facing the Lost Boys in order to train yourself to fight Hook. Basically all you have to do is just use the Y button to attack, use the B button to jump. If you hold down the Y button you can run. And here's a nifty feature for you. If you go near Tinkerbell and get her fairy dust and you push the B button twice, you can actually float. And this is very important here. If you hold down the Y button and push the B button and just move the D-pad any direction you want, you can fly fast. And believe me, that's going to come in really handy. Just go through the Lost Boys, defeat Rufio by simply jumping over him and attack him from behind, and you get your sword. For the rest of the game, you go through the island until you finally get to Captain Hook's ship. And you start off by using your sword, which gives you a long-range attack weapon, because every time you slash it, a projectile comes out. Unfortunately, you won't be able to keep it for very long because whenever you get hit, you lose the sword and you're stuck with the dagger. It's a simple side-scrolling game, so really all I can say is you just keep going right and you just gotta be careful and watch what you're doing. And that's the hard part because sometimes out of nowhere, there could be these little pitfalls that you don't see coming. And some of the bosses you face are pretty interesting, like this hermit guy here. I, I don't know what that's all about, because I don't remember a hermit in the story of Peter Pan, or even in the movie for that matter. This particular level I find to be pretty interesting, because here you have these tigers that roar rings of fire, and if you touch that ring of fire, you turn to stone. For this, you have to really watch what you're doing, because you have to save all your fairy dust and try to jump on rocks and try to fly all the way to another rock, get more fairy dust, keep flying. You really have to be careful with this one. And then you have to fly up over some spikes. And at this point, the game takes a different turn because instead of you controlling the side-scrolling action, it starts to automatically just move to the side on its own. In this level, you have to swim and it's important. And I should have mentioned this earlier, if you want to hold your position, push the B button. That way you can hold your position and just use the D-pad to control where you want to swim. Because if you go down any deeper in this level, you die. Fortunately, the mermaids help you up. I wonder if that's Regina Russell. But the sad thing is they'll only help you for a little bit. And here's a little tip for you. If you make it all the way to the end of the ocean here, deliberately drop down so the mermaid will pick you up. Then you can jump off. You fight this guy and you move on. You go to some pretty interesting places like this cave. I like this cave because in this cave you hear a song that is actually straight from the movie. Take a listen. If you don't recognize it, this is the song that was played when Mr. Smee is bringing Captain Hook his hook at the Pirate's Pier. Pretty cool, huh? You go to a snow place where you just slash at more pirates and you fight Mr. Smee. All you have to do is blow up some balloons and the bombs will fall on him. Simple. You go through another side scroller where you have to save your fairy dust and, and jump on some tree limbs. Watch what you're doing. Then there's this cave one. You have to really watch it with this one because there's this little flame that keeps following you. You cut it, the light goes out. And you won't be able to see until it comes back. Of course, the flame does go out on its own and you have to watch it. But if you let that flame touch you, it'll hurt you. You just go down, down, you gotta watch what you're doing. And then you face the Skull King, as I like to call him. Defeating him is actually quite simple. First off, don't waste your time cutting at his head that he throws at you, because all he's going to do is throw it back at you. What you want to do is you want to jump over his head, 
and then jump right behind him and cut him in the back. You do that a few more times and you got him. Now you're at the Pirate's Pier and this is tough because now all of a sudden you have pirates who throw bombs, pirates who shoot you. Basically you just keep moving to the right and believe me, you're going to lose a life or two. I cannot get through this without losing at least one life. Once you finally get through, you face Mr. Smee again who this time is riding on a very big eagle carrying a shield with a spear in it. All you have to do is save your fairy dust, make sure you lead Mr. Smee to where you want him to go. Because what happens is if you stay in one place and then you move when he's moving, he'll just go to that place where you last were. And then you just cut him in the back. Then we're up to the pirate ship where we have to go through a lot of mayhem here. Once again, you're facing pirates with bombs, pirates with guns, all kinds of things. And even a spike room. And once you finally get to the top of the ship, Thudbutt will help you out by rolling down and getting rid of some pirates. And then you're at the bow of the ship and you face Captain Hook. And here's a trick for you. When he gets ready to slash right there, you cut immediately. We go through a graphic where Rufio gets killed and once again we face Captain Hook. But this time he uses his hook to try to get you. It's quite simple, just jump over the hook and cut him three times and then he loses his hook. But then things get harder because now you have to wait for him to do that slash again. And the problem is he's not going to just stand still. He's going to walk forward and when he feels like slashing at you, he slashes. Get him three more times and he loses his wig. And then you get this cool scene right here, straight out of the movie. Isn't that awesome or what? And at the very end, you fly home. That's it. All in all, it's a great game. I would recommend that anyone get this because it is a lot of fun. Hours of enjoyment. It takes a little getting used to, but believe me, it's fun to play. It's worth owning. You'll love it. This is Movie Fan, signing off.